A very very good day to you people. My name is uh, Mohit and guys um, I made a picture gallery that makes uh, full use or shall I say the best use of uh, display list in flash. Before I actually uh, start explaining how this was done the modus operandi let me first show you a published preview and then uh, we'll dig inside the actions panel and talk about how this was achieved. Let me hit control and turn the keyboard guys and uh, take a publish preview alright guys this is the first picture and tucked in the bottom corner right corner I have a button which when pressed gets the other picture on uh, which fades in nicely and uh, I click it again and that gets the third picture in the frame all these pictures guys are 800 by 600 pixels in uh, dimension and uh, now if I click the button it'll get get the first picture once again so basically it has looped back so on and so forth it goes on and on and on and on and guys why I especially like uh, this uh, video tutorial is that the actions layer let me call it AS3 which contains the action script is so very uh, concise see um, it uses uh, the transition uh, manager class okay here we have the add mouse event uh, which is of the type click and uh, this is the function and here we have the function okay before I actually uh, go further into the script let me make you first understand the stage now guys as I said the stage is of the size 800 by 600 okay on the stage I have three movie clips and I have one button okay and they are all stacked on top of each other it's a pile it's a stack guys okay and uh, see the picture where you see the owl I don't need to give it an instance name let me remove that where you see the owl is the first picture which is right at the bottom of the stack this is the picture in the middle the rocky picture and these two birds are stacked on top of the other two pictures and then we have the button which is stacked on top of all these uh, three pictures so one button which is on top of three pictures and guys have uh, converted all these three pictures into movie clips if I click on the top picture you can see out here it's a movie clip let me say control Z again and again to reset it uh, the way it was alright so guys what happens here is uh, for guys who do not understand the display list the display list is a list of all the items that are displayed on the stage and every item or every movie clip or a button has a specific index the one which is right at the bottom of the stack has an index of zero and whatever is right at the top of the stack or the pile has an index of here in our case 3 so 0 1 2 and 3 so the three pictures have an index of 0 1 and 2 the button which is right at the top has an index of you guessed it right 3 now guys I'm using two layers out here uh, what has happened here is the actions layer has uh, been accidentally mixed with the pictures layer so layer one is uh, empty I can in fact remove it ideally you should separate the actions layer and the pictures layer but here since it's happened accidentally I can uh, remove the layer one and just keep the actions layer which also contains the pictures there so uh, in a nutshell I have three pictures and a button on the stage which is of the size 800 by 600 all the three pictures have the same size 800 by 300 uh, 600 I'm sorry and uh, on top of these three pictures we have a button all right we have a button I've named it uh, blue underscore btn that's the instance name of the button 
all these three pictures and the button have an index flash says that whatever is displayed on the stage has uh, an index on the display list the one at the bottom it has an index of 0 then we have 1 2 and in the end the button has an index of 3 that is the highest index so keeping uh, the concept of display list in mind I have designed the script the way it has been designed let me dig inside the actions uh, panel okay and make you understand the script give me a minute guys let me expand the area right guys uh, here I have imported uh, or have uh, used a few classes I've used the transition manager class to fade in uh, fade in uh, these pictures and I've also used the mouse uh, click event all right now what I've done in line number five is I've added an event listener to blue underscore btn and if you remember that is the button blue button that is stuck in the right top uh, right bottom corner and I've attached an uh, event you know uh, listener which listens for a mouse click and every time that button is clicked a function called send to back gets fired off and this function send to back let's see what it does so the function keyword the name of the function and this is the function guys let's discuss each and every line all right now in line number nine what I've done is I'm setting the child index now what does set child index to it what it does is it sets the index of a specific child or in our case it's a picture and changes the index which means if I get a specific picture I can change the index of that specific picture and hence I can arrange it in such a manner that I can push it down or push it up to so send it back backward or send it to the top that's how I can control by changing the index of that specific uh, child or the picture okay so what I'm doing here is I'm getting child at 2 now which means that hey get the child which is at index number 2 now if you remember the three pictures are piled on top of each other the one at the bottom has an index of 0 the one in the middle has an index of 1 the one at the top has an index of 2 so it's fetching the picture right at the top okay and then through set child index method I am changing the index to a 0 which means that I'm pushing the top picture right to the bottom of the pile pushes the top picture to the bottom so uh, in other words we are achieving uh, send to back the way we have it in Photoshop in flash in fireworks so we are sending the picture right to the bottom of the pile through set child index get index at 2 and then changing the index to 0 great I'm not so sure if <laughs> most of you got it if you haven't please uh, understand the concept of display list in flash once you master that I'm sure you can come back to this tutorial and uh, you'll have a lot of clarity as to how I actually went about it great all right uh, let's see what I've done in line number 11 I've created a variable I've called it my underscore MC and I have saved a movie clip inside it I don't know the mo name of the movie clip because because I never gave them instance names but I'm referencing the uh, the top picture by saying get child at 2 which means save that picture right at the top of the pile in a variable called my underscore MC okay so it's saving the top picture whichever is uh, the top picture inside this variable great and then what I'm doing is I'm getting the middle picture and the bottom picture through the get child at 1 and get child at 0 so through referencing their index numbers I'm making the visibility false basically I'm rendering the middle picture and the bottom picture invisible and I'm saving the top picture in the variable my underscore MC and guys I don't know how many of you actually know how to do this but uh, 
using the transition manager I'm applying the fade uh, transition to my underscore MC or in other words the picture which is uh, right at the top whichever it is uh, which will keep on changing all right so we'll up we, we are applying uh, the fade in to the top picture and guys these two lines were necessary because if I apply a fade into the top picture and the pictures underneath would show up it was kind of merging in a fashion uh, which was spoiling the effect so I had to render the middle and the the bottom picture invisible while I was making the top picture fade in alright guys so guys let me show you a published preview once again before I wind so I control enter on the keyboard and uh, let's start hitting this magic button the blue button very cool very nice so all very good all very uh, nice and all very easy guys I'll see you uh, very soon once again with the yet another flash uh, with action script 3 tutorial you have a good day peace